attacks. The reviews of the research are mixed, but many who have read that report say Obamacare is forcing Americans who want to work full time to have to work part time. The Washington Examiner report on that research reads, and I quote, the evidence suggests that the Affordable Care Act has at least modestly elevated involuntary part-time employment. We have two men on opposite sides of this argument here tonight, <laughs> Boris Epstein, he's a Trump supporter and Republican strategist, and Chris Hahn, who's a Fox News contributor and former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer. Good to see both of you guys. You know, Good Boris, to I got to tell you, I talked to a lot of CEOs and a lot of investors and a lot of economists, and every single one of them was predicting exactly this. They said, you know what's going to happen when Obamacare comes into effect? People are not going to hire as many employees, or they're going to cut back on workers' hours. Is this the reality? <laughs> of Obamacare in which we now live. Of course, it's a complete no-brainer. Companies cannot afford to have full-time employees. Companies, therefore, have to force their employees to go part-time. And who does this hit the hardest? It hits those mid 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 middle-sized businesses the hardest. It hits small businesses the hardest. And this is not the end. It's actually the beginning. Premiums are going, going to be going up by 20, 30, 40 percent. Insurance companies are saying that they're losing money on mm -hmm. Obamacare all over the country. Out of 50 states, in 41 states, insurance companies lost money. Yeah. on Obamacare. You know, Chris, you're, you're, you're kind of laughing and everywhere. you're shaking your head over there because I know you don't agree with any of this, but I, I, I very briefly just want to explain the scenario. Imagine yeah. you're a small business owner. You run a restaurant, right? And you, uh, you yeah. have maybe 45 employees. Why would you go to 50 full-time employees if all of a sudden it's going to hit your bottom line because the government is now requiring you to provide health care? Well, businesses go to 50 employees because they need 50 employees and they deal with the uh, implications of that within the law. But even if you believe this study, which I'm very dubious on, the, the study itself Why says it's only on modest. It? Maybe only 200,000 jobs were lost in this. And remember, this economy under President Obama has created 14 million jobs since the bottom of the recession. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of jobs. Uh, I don't see why jobs, we would Chris. ever even think we that there was anything going on here. We have had 2.5 percent GDP growth in eight years, the worst recovery since World War II. We have the lowest participation in the workforce. In it was also the worst recession years. since also, 1929. We have, we have more Boris. people. You know what? Let me jump in for a minute because Chris makes an important months. point that a lot of people on the left like to say. They say, you know, things were so bad. Therefore, you know, how could it possibly be so good right now? And I'll tell you, it should be good. You know why, Chris? When things are that bad, any other time in history, what you see is a big pop in those GDP numbers. Right. In other words, the economy by comparison grows even more. And yet we haven't seen that. We're, you're, you're, we're you're just moving along to a at an anemic growth it's, record. It's a it's a standard, you're talking about a standard recession. This was a no, great recession. No, what about a depression? By horrible, After World War II, on, there was Boris, much better GDP on, growth. Forrest, you're lying, Chris. On, you're, not, you're not telling you know, the truth. Forrest, you know, this is the thing. The Trump campaign, they want to just shout everybody down. Let's not have a conversation all. here. Sure. Let, let's, let's have a conversation. Let you're me speak. You're historically incorrect. Um, the, 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 the recession was historically bad. And this has been a great recovery. 14 million new jobs. The stock market's at record highs for most of the, of the Obama presidency. I got to tell you, uh, you know, look, you as tell someone who reports 000. on this regularly, I can tell you exactly why the stock market's at record highs. And it has nothing to do with the fundamentals of this economy and everything to do with an extremely aggressive Federal Reserve right. that was either printing money or leaving interest rates at record lows, thereby leaving investors with no possible other place but to put their money so should they raise interest into rates? the market. You tell those 500,000 workers who dropped out of the workforce just in the last month that the economy okay. is good, the recovery yeah. is good. Uh, You've got to be kidding know, yourself. We what we all need is to We're going to keep this debate going, but, go but to unfortunately, I don't have enough Baby time tonight. Retiring. Chris, it's but good to see you. The economy is bad. Trump will a make pleasure, it as always. Thank you. Okay, we're going to be right back with more.